Hey y'all, we are jumping straight into today's video. We are going to be doing a living room makeover. I'm going to be rearranging our uh, living room, the furniture in it. And we're also decluttering right now this bin. This is a bunch of stuff that came out of Erin's game room. And we just hadn't got the chance to go through it. So we were doing that together right now. I'm taking these puzzles out. I'm going to put them in the black um, table that we have in our living room so I'll show you all that in a minute but we're just going through this stuff right here so we're gonna do that we have a shelf to put up above the deep freezer so we're gonna decorate that too what else is there in this video uh, lots of laundry <laughs> lots of laundry and lots of motivation so Mostly if you want cleaning motivation or motivation to rearrange some furniture you've been putting off, this video is for you. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Happy late St. Patrick's Day. Y'all can see I'm wearing green and so was Erin's mom. Uh, she came over, well actually she was over at our neighbor and Erin heard her car. So he went over there and got her and we were able to give her all that stuff. And she's just going to go through it and see what she wants from when we decluttered the kitchen. So she's got a lot of things to go through and see what she likes. Um, so that's always fun. Anyways, I'm just throwing away this picture I painted. Um, I think it was the year before last year as like a hobby. And they have just set in piles. So I just ended up tossing them. <laughs> Anyway, here's the table. So I have our uh, old laptop in here. That's the laptop I started out on. Now I have pretty much the same one, but new. Some puzzles. I also put a gaming controller in here because I also am a gamer. And the remotes. So everything is just now in this little table. I didn't realize that we, all the tables we've ever had in the living room, none of them had have drawers. So it's really nice to be able to hide stuff in here. I'm also going to wipe down that uh, table that I just put the laundry basket on. And I am going to be painting it in another video. But for today, since we had a lot of stuff going on, I just ended up cleaning it really well. And then we... Uh, situated it in the middle of the living room i'm happy with how this layout turned out uh, so i can't wait for y'all to see that at the end and i did get to decorate a little bit more um, with that shelf so i'll show you all that too but okay i'm going to be quiet for a minute we're going to put the shelf on the wall and then we will get back into the living room
So I could not find this, um, but I know it's from Amazon. If y'all are looking, it is gold, white, marble, two-tiered shelf, and then it has the rod at the bottom too and with hooks so if you're looking for something like that that's what I would type in anyways and I'm sure you'll be able to find it so I had a good pile over here not a ton of laundry maybe like one load worth of laundry also now that um Aaron's game room is like all nice and set up and we don't have that dresser in that nook anymore um I have no reason to have that curtain go across that nook and cover it up so, you can see the curtain and the rods right there. I am going to do that in another video. We're going to um, hang up the curtain rod, uh, you know, before our bathroom. We took the door off of our bathroom in our bedroom because it just kept getting in the way. It opened towards you. So, especially when it's like winter time and we need to have the heat on, the door was just taking up way too much space so that's why we had taken the door off but I agree like it is sometimes when I'm filming I'm like it would be nice to just shut the bathroom off so that y'all didn't have to see the toilet every five seconds um so long story long we'll be putting a curtain over it just to kind of cover it and then it's not going to take up any space because I can just kind of slide the curtain to the left or the right and just go on in there and do whatever I want to do. <laughs> so I'm just going to clean up some more in the living room. Um, I don't, I wasn't even planning on rearranging in here today, but I just was so inspired by the kitchen that I wanted to change things up a little bit in the living room. So yeah, that is why we ended up doing that. So this is the part where I was like, hmm, how do I want to do this? And then y'all saw kind of click when I started moving stuff. I had to put some music on to listen to. <laughs> um, so I decided to, I think first I just moved Aaron's chair and then I moved Chloe's table over. But y'all will see in a few minutes. I end up actually putting her table uh closer to the love seat on that window and you can see here i was thinking hmm what if we move this tv stand where her table used to be chloe is my dog by the way she loves to watch uh people out the window and stuff and dogs and everything that goes by anyway so then you'll see erin and i come in here and we're thinking about stuff and the reason why we decided to leave the TV stand where it is for now is because all of the internet, cords, things like that are on the right side of the wall. But also, if we did it the opposite way and we put the TV stand where that black and gold table is, um, he is concerned about heat getting to the TV. And then also something about maybe like fading um which makes sense so instead we just left the tv where it is we um 
you know, it won't get too hot over there. But I do agree that it could get too hot uh, during the summertime because, you know, we have like the mobile home windows, so they're not super insulated. So we just left it over there. Also, he was making a joke. It's like, by the way, it is like 500 pounds. I don't know if it's 500 pounds, but it's super heavy. So, if you've been on our channel for a very long time, you will remember when the recliners used to look like this. My first videos, our recliners were like this, and then we had the TV um, in front of us, and that's just how we would sit. I think at one point we might have had like a little trash bag or some or trash can in between us, or like a little tiny, that's what it was, there was a little tiny coffee table in between us. It might have even folded. I don't know. Anywho, so I'm lining up the chairs to where they're even with the TV stand and then I'm going to first I move the table over here. Decided I didn't like how that was. I also needed to move Aaron's chair over a little bit more closer to the wall. But he also needed to be able to recline his chair and the handle is on that side. And I know it's going to bother him if her table is like too close to where he needs to reach down and pull the lever. So we decided to move her. And by the way, she loved it. I was a little nervous. I thought, well, maybe she's not going to like this because it's a different spot. But I just carried her over there. And she looks so happy. So now she'll have a different scenery to look at. Since she's been looking outside the same window for the past five years or so. Uh, anyways, now I'm putting this little table right here that we're going to use as like a coffee table in the middle. And I think I even like kind of stand back next to the camera where y'all are. And I had to just kind of play around with it until it was even. So that's when I realized I'm going to have to move Chloe's table. So I moved the black table over there by that box fan, which I do later put away. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm rambling again. But kind of just to explain what I was doing. Just making sure things look symmetrical, if you will. Because it's going to drive me nuts to have a recliner not like even with the other recliner whenever you see the table in the middle <laughs> y'all know what i mean <laughs> that table y'all just saw me move over close to where I normally sit um, and the steps Chloe has I have paint now um, a lot of paint that comes in those like jars but I also have a lot of spray can paint uh, from Rust-Oleum that uh, some of it works for plastic uh, wood all that stuff so I am going to uh, paint the table and her steps to where they match more with the rest of the living room and kitchen and then i am going to be painting this coffee table in the middle uh but my plan is to paint it black and then put like a gold accent where you see the little squares with the holes um it's going to be very tedious, but Erin had the idea of painting like the bulk of it one color, which I was fine with black, and then doing little strips of gold where the squares are so that it has like a nice little gold accent. And I think it's going to look really good once it all comes together. Then I was laughing because I was going to put these flowers on that black table because I have a black... Uh, little black velvet flower 
container of those pre pre preserved flowers um, and I have white ones but they're in my winter box and I had grabbed the ones that were red so I went back and put those back and I'm not digging through my box to go get those flowers right now so I'll do it another day but um the TV stand was super dusty so I'm taking one of those microfiber cloths that I recently got and then I'm also going to come over here and clean this yesterday i told y'all that this cleaning spray was called sweet and rolling and it made me laugh um when i saw the bottle today and it says um oh my gosh i'm gonna miss it again <laughs> it's sea salt and rolling i'm like it's not sweet but it sounds like sweet sea salt yeah anyways i'm vacuuming first because it's it's like really dirty so a lot of this was able to get in the vacuum and then I'm gonna go in wipe it down wipe down all the little crevices where the um, holes are and then also clean that glass a little bit more and then we'll just put it all back together so I'm excited to paint this because it's got a ton of scratches on it but it's gonna look so good when it's done as we raise a show let the anthem rise up Let the song ring out And let the ground now tremble As we raise a shout oh, There's only one name We lift up a shout We lift up a shout This is how the living room looks. So I also got this laundry hamper in the mail and I'm so excited because it's uh, very good for small spaces. Like this could fit in the gap of like a laundry, like a washer and dryer, you know, like it's just maybe like six inches across, which is perfect for those small spaces. So if you are, I'll try my best to find this. If I do, it will be linked in the description box because if you know anyone that lives in like a college dorm room, someone that lives with roommates, anyone that just, maybe it's you, like you just need um, space. Like these, these little laundry hampers would be perfect in like a kid's closet because you know, sometimes the like, smaller bedrooms don't have a good size closet but you could have something like this in there for them to put their dirty clothes in anyways lots of good places to put it um so it also comes with a mesh so if you have to go and take your laundry somewhere to wash and dry that works for that too because you can just kind of close it up with the drawstring and then carry it on your way and the best part of all it rolls yes love that about it so super easy to put together anyways i got it in our bedroom um these table mats i need to 
um, steam, which I have a steamer, so I will do that. Uh, but that's how those look. This is how I kind of decorated this area, which I will go back and add a little bit to it. So I'm excited to show you all that. But here's how everything looks. I'm really happy with it. Let me know what your thoughts are. I put their little like cat scratch thing underneath there. Um, yeah, here's everything that I had put in here earlier. And I will uh, be putting those flowers on top of this table whenever I go back in my closet and get them. But I think it just looks so pretty in here. Even without the coffee table being uh, refinished and everything, it still looks nice. And I'm just showing y'all that that's our front window or front door. Oh my goodness. I always say window because it's glass. <laughs> it's like a window. So this is kind of the layout of everything. I know it's hard to tell sometimes with the wide angle of like how much space there really is. But I've noticed adding furniture strangely makes the rooms look like there's more space. I think before because we didn't have a table in the middle and we didn't um after we got rid of the white table before we put the little round table in there it's kind of hard to get a good perception of like how much room do you have and so with the smaller pieces in the middle you can still see how much room of walking space is around them Back the serious We're going to mount that TV um, in my bedroom soon, so it's just over there for right now. And this is just the view from the love seat. We're all in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know. All right, so I wanted to decorate this area too. And my friend Angie from the Bumblebee Farmhouse here on YouTube, we did a collab a couple of years ago, I would say. And she gave me this, um, it's like a Ray Dunn bird nest at Birdhouse. Oh my goodness. And it says gnome on it. And I like gnomes and uh, fairies and all that kind of good stuff so I'm also adding some blue flowers next to it that are artificial just kind of as filler and then I added another hand towel right here just for all, like decorative purposes but I will be using the uh, oven mitts that y'all see right there but I think this area above the deep freezer turned out so cute. It's just another way to have decorations without them taking up space on the counters or um, like floor space. Ugh, can't talk. Floor space. <laughs> Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Leave it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you made it this far. And I will see y'all back here tomorrow for another video. My plan is to do some more organization in the kitchen because I have a lot of stuff to organize with and uh, do a major like clean out of the fridge. So lots of motivation for tomorrow.